Kaufel. Gold with uh, a bit of greenish on your sidelines. What are you looking at? A uh, bit of red on the other hand. All white and that's a bit of a, a blue streaming. So it is going to be a very interesting tie today between the two outfits overall. Con fair play. Yes, it is fair play. You want to stay this side. Brenna, please welcome us and see you home again. Thank you. Thank you. So we So just confirming the tossing of a coin have been done here by Mr. Amos. Uh, that is Musia Bafana. He is the man in charge for today's side of the referee. Assisted Musia Bafana today by Janchi Zamini Clifford Mutau and then Abel Maputu. So there will be a moment of silence here before the game kicks off. And now we just have to say to the families of those who have lost their loved ones in a play, field of play. Uh, first of all, is it Lord Jeffrey Sabedi, a former United FC player who passed away during a training session, while a young school footballer Andani Kutama also passed away while playing in a school's a tournament in Umlazi, uh, Teguini. So may they all rest in peace. So it is a moment of silence and really may their soul rest in peace. And today is a very hot day as you've already heard from Christopher Bongo, Leo Mutsuedi as well as... Uh, so now let's have a look at the starting uh, 11 for today. Steven Hoffman, six goals so far considered by the young goalkeeper. Six years of age now, the key player to look forward to. Papi Fati starting today. And Matthew Pedersen, or Tembin Kosi Fanteni. What does he bring forward? Now Pavel Steinbors, uh, the man from Latvia, is uh, the goalkeeper. So far has been in all the matches for Golden Arrows. And looking also Bongin Tu, the young lad, and the 19 international at Femtage, now playing at the same time. So let's bring in Utemba, Chini Fondini Chogozela. So we look here to the benches for both the sides, starting off first of all with the bit bit vet, Ryan Harrison. He has to get a chance to play at this level. Sandy Lesibande, and a crucial player, and a Robin Galande. So looking at uh, arrows on the other side, Kolisi Makupu amongst the players. So now it is at the moment a game kicking off here at uh, the Bitva Stadium. It is Bitva Verts up against the Mobile Coronaros, the men in charge for today. It is uh, Bafana Musia, 35 year old, who hailed from one in the Free State, and Atlamini, 28 year old from Botabelo. Butawun coming from City Bank, 31 year old, and a man from Limpopo, Mr. Maputo, is the man of the fourth official for today. Mesh Commissioner, no introduction needed at all, Robert Pile. And we're looking to see how this one's going to pan out next to the ball. Dylan Shepard and uh, Tandui Sekuboni, man from Clermont in uh, west of Devon. Shepard step forward, sends a long ball in, knocked down, and should have been the opener. Should have been the opener. Musonda is complaining about the foul, that it should have been something given for him. There he appeals that it should have been a corner kick. In fact, he's right. Some of the players they signed this season to try and beef up the squad after making a wholesale. Now, good chance. Kelvin Curry. Can he open the scoring? Cast the ball inside. He has a chance. Yeah! And Pedersen opened the scoring. Well played, ball. And Kelvin Curry has a one to the student. Chris, you got to talk about the way the ball was cut in, the ball was played inside again. Beautiful. We talked about bad versus script. Play the ball wide, create the situation. That's exactly how they played. The ball went wide and they get the ball. They had two options. One of them to, to has to put a good cross into the box. The second one is to lay the ball back to the incoming player. Patterson, I talked about him playing like Yaya Toure, coming from the middle of the park, getting into the box, and he finish it off with a plum. What a goal! What a goal!
Thank you very much. And uh, one nearly remains at the moment to the students. And many Pedersen throwing exactly that he understands the studies of uh, Engels. And cutting in and getting a chance in there. Late challenge. And a preferee is giving a free kick against Mokshina to go outside. Gosinati Ogle not happy. And will see himself being yellow carded for his troubles. Saying assimilation going down. But you have to look at it again. Let's look at this. Got the ball and he wanted to. He really went down easily, didn't he? He went down very easily and at the moment the touch was made or the contact was made, he did not have control of the ball. The Absa Premiership. Mikaufel. So there's been the first change we made. So there's been a one change we made already. Dylan Shepard has left the field of play. The man that came on. It is a Luyolo Mopolisa. Man that come from Kailicha, Cape Town. Play for Leopards, which has been United. It is a feeder side to Santos. So play for FC Four Cape players. Town. In fact, they always keep shape at the back. There's always more players behind the ball whenever Arrows has possession. Ogle. Cross expected, but there's no really much body to pay the ball to. He's forced to cut back again. The long ball. Nene! Beautiful save, Hoffman. And Nene there just up it, just coming behind the two players. And there was a chance for the equalizer. Gonna kick it to him. Look at this again. Petting the ball away. Single save, single ended save. Now brilliant from the goalkeeper. That is the reason why you see the experienced keepers watching from the stands on the bench respectively because the 18 year old teenager is doing very well at the moment for Bert Versvets. Corner kick number three, cleared away, fall short to Nene, the creator of the corner. The players going himself. forward because they need to get that goal that's going to give them a chance of uh, getting a point here. Now that's a late challenge, Mukshine to Grol. He's the one that has called the referee upon. See that will be in trouble if he does get booked this time around. But he's sitting on a yellow card. See that got himself a yellow card in the first half. It was a late challenge. But you see what you have to also realize that he will be walking. Eli Shawa for the young lad. He'll get the second yellow card and he will have to walk. And because he got the first yellow card already. So there he will be walking. See that. Sees red. Well, I saw the movement from Oakley. Uh, Oakley that telling the referee it was not a foul. Don't give me yellow card. Actually, stop making the, the referee to stop by giving the yellow card. But uh, what the law is the law. Law is the law. Already seen the yellow card. A young lad from the first half, only 20 years. He will learn. The side. So time. And there you can see immediately they're making the changes. Champion Gozi Fantani leaving the field of play coming in. He's uh, the man that can control the middle of a pack. Spusiso, General Villagazi. So they want to keep the shape as well. With Nengo Masha probably helping out. But Villagazi will make sure that things don't go over and spill into the defense. Exactly. I think uh, Vest, they're going to kill one side. They're going to kill one side instead of attacking wide. Kadi is going to come back as a center attacking player. And uh, you're going to have to call play or pull play back at the stage. Long ball paid in towards the far post. And that's way over. Taking out our cameraman just behind the goals. <laughs> Those are the risks of the job. He was ready to pack it over. So change will happen now. Jaiya will come on to the field of play. And this will be the second change for Bert Vets. Vets, the man that's coming off, is a man that has given another standing performance today to Inabot Kelvin Matumekadi. He's the man that's coming off the field of play. So 
So there's uh, the, uh, the second change. Jai uh, set alight the Premier Pro League when he arrived in uh, the 2011-2012 season. Also working away with uh, the player of the month at some stage. 2010-2011 season, in fact, is when he came up. Played for Pit Boys and he played for Pit Vets as well before running to the senior side. So he's a young lad that has done very well. Upongo to Jai, 22 years of age. Immediately getting involved in uh, the Dats free kick. Ball knocked down, corner kick. It will be number seven. Matthew Matty Pedersen. Now the man is coming on to the field of play. It is Nato. Ufente Nato coming on to the field of play. Men from Ramu Tua in Botswana. Played for Khaboron United from 2008 to 2004, 2012 rather. Botswana International. Now the Burundian will leave the field of play. The 20 year old from Burundi will leave the field of play. Long ball, Langwe saw Sweswe gets the ball away. Only as far as Mzufu Gile Tom comes back. Tom, long one, chipped in. Headed down and get away. They play it again into the Ignite area. Alive, the chance! Brilliant save, Hoffman! Brilliant save, Steve Hoffman! Over the crossbar, corner kick number nine. Now that was a brilliant save from a young goalkeeper. He has had not one, not two, but three of those today. Reflex save over the crossbar. He comes out and can't get to the ball, but this time around. Save by the whistle. As the ball goes out, goal kick it will be. 18 years of age. Have a look at that. Now he was backtracking. He had to be very clear and he had to pet it over the crossbar. The future for this young player is very great. And he pulled the whistle once, twice and thrice. And the students have won here today. They now have 11 points, a zero goal difference. It means they will leapfrog a few teams into fifth position on the lock standings. If Swallows hold on to their lead and win their tie, they will have 12 points. They will join in a top four. Manzala team that's sitting on 12 points. They will leapfrog the likes of Free State Stars. Orlando Pirates, Marisbeck United will be the only team that can only leapfrog because Marisbeck United are within the top three, top four respectively. So the final score, 1-0 to Pitford Vest and a goal scored very early in the 15th minute by Matthew Pedersen. Let's have a look at the stats for today. You can see the shot at goal, 4 taken by Pitford Vest, 7 by the Granaros. But you can say for their dominance, they really should have done something. 10 corners awarded for them, 4 against uh, the students. But well, the students got 4 corners and yellow cards 3, including a red card that was taken there against uh, the Pitford Vest side. It was the Ibrahim Sidat. Now, just look at the player, the team that spent more time on the ball. And the one that made it count the most, it was Bitwood Verts. And it was Coronaros that dominated throughout.